In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble and more importantly, assemble together of the parts and the motor for the Cobalt XDR half inch impact wrench. So as you can see here, I already disassembled the plastic case of the impact wrench. That's the easy part. There are about oh, 10 screws or so. There are screws on the handle and then four screws on the head of the impact. And it will just come out just like this. And now I'm trying to put it back together. And this part here will come in here just like so. Okay, you push it in, it will come in. Okay, but it's not as easy because there are two things that need to line up perfectly before they can come in. First thing is the gear. There's a gear in the middle. It has to line up with the planetary gear inside there. And also this bearing here has to go perfectly inside here. And that's nearly impossible because the rotor, this rotor here is, is not stationary. It, it has a little bit of play. See that? So it moves around a little bit because there's a gap between the rotor in the middle and the stator on the outside. And therefore, this is not perfectly right in the center. And therefore, you're going to put the head in. It's going to be hard because they don't perfectly align. And let me show you exactly what that means. Okay, push it in. Nope, does not want to go in. No matter how I wiggle it. Nearly impossible. So let's first remove the rotor in the middle. And I'm just going to pull it straight up and it should come out. All right, it's a very strong magnet. Now you install the rotor into the head of the impact wrench first. So just push in here. See, now you can wiggle all you want. There you go, it goes in. Okay, now this part here has to go in there. And this bearing has to go in that hole, the plastic part right at the bottom. But the problem is, if you're just trying to push this in, okay, let's try it. And push this in, okay. See that? The magnet on the rotor is so strong that the moment you put it in, it got sucked into the stator and pull out of this uh, head of the impact wrench. So let's pull it out again. This magnet is very strong. And put it back in here. Okay. So now I'm gonna try that again. This time I'm gonna prevent the magnet from getting sucked into the stator. So I'm gonna have to use my plier here and grab onto the fan so that it doesn't move okay wow I'm putting it in okay so just like that boom there it's in so next step is to secure the screws onto the head because if you're not careful this will just come back out again Now that you have the screws secure, all you have to do now is just to put back the plastic cover and you should be good to go. On the inside, we see two screws that secure the motor to the plastic case. So here are the screws. Now, it's just gonna pull the motor straight up and will come out. So here is what the motor looks like. That's the case. 
And here's the aluminum casing. So here's the inside of the head of the impact wrench. Got a washer. And that's the anvil. And we got a huge spring down here. This is built like a tank. So this will go on here like so. And then you tuck the wires in. Make sure that it's out of the way so that it doesn't pinch the wire when you put this cover back on. And then you put this cover back on. That's it. And then put the eight screws on and you should be good to go. There you go. Everything back together just like new. The big question is, does it even work? And that's how you disassemble and put back together the Cobalt XTR half-inch impact wrench. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.